Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Roger Skakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to the people who are supporting us each and every day. We have a target of 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month. And I believe the speed we are moving uh, with, I think we will be clocking 10,000 because we are at 9.8. We are less than 200 subscribers so that we click our target 10,000. If you're watching this video for the first time, kindly make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are able to get my daily uploads. The people who are calling me from all over this, uh, this world, from Poland, from um, uh, Canada, from USA, what were many pigia masimu, and I really thank you for the encouragement you're giving me. Back to politics, ladies and gentlemen. You know, many of us who are watching this video, you've read the Bible. And you understand how the kings, the Bible kings used to work. I want to take you back to when the Israelites wanted a king. They told Samuel that, you know, we want a king we can touch, a king we can feel, a king we can go sit and tell our problems. What does that mean? I will be mixing Swahili and English so that my point is home precisely. Wananchi wa Kenya, wengi wanao pika kura, there are those people who have hope that in one way or another, the price of unga, the price of commodities will come down. Yani, you know, hakuna kitu kizuri dunia hii like hoping for tomorrow. If you lose hope, definitely you will die. When you are hoping for better tomorrow, it keeps you moving forward and toiling for tomorrow. Now, I want to narrow down my analysis to the recent happenings in the Kisi County politics. Wanaichu wanao pika kura wengi wao, wanaichu waniwale, the poor and the middle class. Those who believe that want to change leaders, maybe in one way or another our lives will change. How ndio wamuka subi wa mama na wazei kuenda kweka mulolongo kupiga kura pale vijijini. Those are the majority. I'm not saying the rich do not vote. But then, I'm basing my argument on the majority who vote. How wananchi ambao wanamuka subui kuenda kusimama kituoni kupiga foreni ili wapige kura, wanataka kumpigia kiongozi ambaye anawaelewa, wameka pamoja, they have gained trust in this person that yes, this is the kind of person we want. The trust comes before the campaign period. Let me, let me put this into a simple explanation. Kaka Sungura right now, kama ninataka kuwania kiti in 2027, I must leave town. Niende kwa village as early as now. I start mingling with the people. I understand them. Ni waelewe. Ha watu kwa village. Wakona shida gani. What is their problem? Tukai chini na wow. Tukule pamoja. Yani, they gain trust. Wakue na trust kwangu kwanza. You see? Kama ni mazishi usiku, I go sit with them. Kama ni michango, I go. Alia before the, 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 the campaign period starts. Early, even before people started thinking for the next election. Kwa nini? Uwanze kujitokeza wakati uchaguzi unaelekea kukua watasema, huyu mtu wamejileta kwa sababu, anataka kiti. Lakini, if you want to be a good politician, you begin early in advance. Hawa watu wa vijiji hawa, hawa wanapiga kura hawa, wanaitaji watu ambao, wana waelewa kwanza, Mtu ambayo waneza kaa pamoja, wakule. That is why you see politicians even member parliament. Wanaingia kwa mija watu kupika. You saw Poli Kabigade. Anaenda, anapika, anawasha cho. That is what people want. But then, for you to win their hearts, hizo vitu lazima wanza kufanya mapema kabla ya uchaguzi. So, wa Kenya, sijui ni kisi peke yake, lakini wanainchi wanataka mtu ambaye has been with them Kwa siku nyingi sana, sio yule mtu ambaye, amekuja kwa sababu ya siyasa. Siji kama unanielewa. If you do that, 
you will win the souls of these people. That is why you find long-serving leaders like Arama in Akuru. Arama unampata hii is with the people. Wananchi wakirushwa mawe yuko pale. Polisi wakikuja anatetea wana. That is what wananchi wanataka. Mtu ambaye ako na wow. Somebody who works with them. Somebody who understands them. Somebody who anaweza sema huyu mtu hata tukimpatia kura amekuwa akikaa na kwetu mazishi usiku na sisi. Huyu mtu hata tukimpatia kura yeye amekuwa akifungua kwake tunaenda tunachota maji. Huyu mtu hata tukimpatia kura ni mtu ambaye katika michango yetu amekuwa pamoja na sisi hata kabla ya kura kuanza. Unaelewa? So let not people think that unawafanyia mazuri kwa sababu umekuja kutaka kura zao. Wananchi wanataka kwamba uwafanyie mazuri kwanza hata kabla uambie kwamba nataka kiti. Unaona? Yaani unawafanyia mazuri bila kuonyesha kwamba you have interest in any political seat. Unawafanyia mazuri kama ni mazishi usiku mko na wao, kama ni matanga michango mko na wao, kama ni kulima barabara pale mashinani mko na wao, kama ni kama yani zile shida wanapitia na wewe unazipitia so that they buy you as one of their own. Yani they own you first. So that by the time unaenda kuambia ninataka sasa kuwania kiti wanasema all oh, right huyu mtu amekuwa na sisi huyu mtu ametupigania huyu mtu tumekuwa na yeye kama ni shida tumekula pamoja kama nini so they trust you and they will vote you in umwahi sikia kijijini watu wakisema ah huyu naye anataka kiti huyu eh, amekaa Nairobi hata hatujawahi muona kilima barabara hapa hii sisi tunataseka hapa kubeba miili na barabara ni mbaya huyu ni msinimu So kama ni, ni kura nataka eh hey, pesa ako nayo wacha tukule. That is why you find watu wengi ambao wanatoka abroad kuja kuuliza viti hapa Kenya wanaanguka. Kwa nini? Wa Kenya wanasema huyu sisi hata hatujui. Hata mimi anijui jina. Huyu ni mtu amekaa Amerika, sasa hii anakuja hapa anataka tumpatie kiti. Hai? Sisi tunapatia huyu kijana wa fulani yeye ndiye amekaa na sisi, yeye ndiye amekula uchungu na sisi, yeye ndiye amelima barabara na sisi, yeye ndiye amebeba sanduku na sisi, yeye ndiye anatuelewa vizuri, yeye ndiye tunapigia kura. Sijui kama umewahi sikia a debate like that back in the village. Sijui kama umeelewa. Unasikia watu wana mama wanasema, "Ah! Eh, huyo? Ah, hata gari yake hawezi kuza. Huyu ametoka Amerika juzi huyu? Ah, hajakaa na sisi hapa hata elewe shida tuko nazo na tukimpatia kura si atatoroka." I, I think you've heard. Wanasema, "Ai!" Huyu, huyu amekaa Nairobi hata jaye kanyaka kisi. Hajawahi kanyaka hata kwa village. Sasa how, how do we vote somebody who has been in Nairobi? Si tukimpatia kura atatoroka. You know, such kind of debate. I hope you've heard them. Kwa hivyo before uanze kuwania kiti chochote, understand these people. Go eat with them. Elewa their culture. Ni nini wanapenda? Ni nini wana hate? Elewa kimira yao. Hawa watu wanataka nini? You see? In that you will win back to kisi politics kisi we have a race it's now official it has been declared the kisi county race is between dr fred matiangi and governor james ongwai matiangi has declared support for simbarad publicly meaning matiangi is a cabinet secretary from kisi is a public figure and icon to the people of gusi When he publicly announced that I'm supporting Arat it means yeye ako pande hiyo. On the other hand, James Ongwae ukimwangalia mazungumzo yake na vile anaongea. He, 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 he might be he might be I don't know but ukimwangalia vile anazungumza he might be he might be endorsing Chris Mogere Obure of Jubilee Party. Now The race now has turned it's not between Obure, Arati, Machogu and Ongeri and Manson Oyongo. No. The race has now narrowed it down into Ongwae versus Matiani. From the explanation I've given, Mahari nimetoka, I think you understand how Matiani has been running his politics. I'm sorry to say but then I want to say this. Matiangi is a no nonsense guy. Umemuona katika ministry ya education, ministry ya interior, alikuwa ICT minister. Umuona vile anafanya kazi. Ni mtu wa cheki is a no nonsense guy. 
a person who believes in power mtu anajua kwamba mimi ni siasa hakuna kitu mnaniambia nikisema ni hivyo eh mimi ni cabinet secretary mimi um, mimi ni mtu ambaye na heshima rais akiniambia ni hivyo kwa hivyo hakuna kitu mnaniambia mimi so matiang is a person who believes in his powers yani ni mtu ambaye hataki kuambiwa kitu kingine aa yeye ni cabinet secretary yeye ndio mkubwa hakuna kitu mtamwambia that is it right back to ongwae ongwae you've seen him siasa yake vile anaipiga i'm not here to endorse anybody i'm telling you even what you yourself you see kenye kile unaona na macho ongwae on the other hand is a person who has been with the people of kisi the allegation you see on social media at yameiba ni, ni sawa mimi i'm not here cc to prosecute i'm not this here to investigate that when i leave it to the people but then i want to focus on his character the character between ongwae and matiani Ongwae has been with the people. Ongwae amekaa kisi for 10 years. He has worked with the people. Kama ni mazishi yuko pale. Kama ni michango even before he became a governor. He has been in kisi here. Aliuliza ubonga wa kitutu cha North but then um uh, Jimmy Nuru Angwenye akamtupa nje. You know? He, so he is a person who understands the kisi people very well to details. Ni mtu anaelewa siasa ya kisi vile inaenda. Ni mtu anaelewa vile watu wanafanya kazi. He has been their leader. Now, from the explanation I gave early before, which you yourself know. Kwa nini watu wanatoka Nairobi, they lose in a contest. Kwa nini watu wanatoka America, they lose in a contest. Kwa nini watu wanatoka nje kukuja wakati wa elections kwamba wanataka viti, they lose in a contest. Why? The people cannot trust them. Why? Because hawa ni watu ambao they are coming because of votes yani the public cannot hold them as they are one of their own yani unajua kuna yule mtu kaka mna grow you know villagers want mtu ame grow kwa ame grow na wao kama ni matope mumekula pamoja kama ni umaskini mumekula pamoja that is the person people want they own this person as theirs it's even biblical the israel said told samuel sisi Samueli tunataka mtu ambaye tunaona na macho, mtu ambaye tunaenda kwake, mtu ambaye tunamwambia dadi tumekosa hii, tufanyie hii. Huyo ndiye mtu tunataka. Ni it is it, 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 historical. Sio maneno imeanza leo, it's historical. The same happens to the people. Kama wewe si mtu ambaye umekaa na watu sana, umetembea na wao. Hao watu unawaomba kura kama ni kisi kwa village, utembea na wao. Yaani ume grow wamekuona vile una grow wamekuona vile unasoma wamekuona vile unakula umaskini na wao kwa village wamekuona vile unatembea na wao wamekuona vile una... watasema kweli huyu mtu ni wetu lakini unapata mtu amelelewa Mombasa anakaa pale ikifika tu years to the elections anakimbia kisi ati anataka uchaguzi ati anataka kuchaguliwa okay there's no problem with that people can elect you but then i want you to understand how people behave and their character just sit down If you are a politician, mwenye umetoka nje, iwe umetoka kisi na we ni mukalenji ni umeenda ukalenji ni kuulizia kura, kaa na hao watu, elewa. Just go and ask the people, what kind of a leader do you want? Hata wewe mahali huko, enda uliza wananchi, mnataka kiongozi gani? Eh, tunataka kiongozi ambaye anatuelewa. Tunataka kiongozi ambaye amekula maskini na sisi. Tunataka kiongozi ambaye tunatembea pamoja. Tunataka kiongozi ambaye anatusaidia. Tunataka kiongozi ambaye amekaa ame matanga na sisi. Tunataka kiongozi ambaye anatuchangia. An, an, Tunataka kiongozi ambaye amekuwa akitufanyia michango. Tunataka kiongozi ambaye ame... Yaani that is a leader people want. But you cannot come from nowhere. Kaka been staying in the United States for 40 years. Halafu ninakuja saa hii uchaguzi, niko na pesa. Halafu naambia watu sasa anataka munijawe kama MCA. Hai hey, ndugu. We? Hai. Hau, utapitia wapi? Hau. Ni pesa yako watakula na hakuna kitu watakupatia. I'm advising our boys in abroad. Kama uko America tu unatengeneza pesa for 10 years alafu kuja kuulizia kiti hapa. Oi. Pole, ndugu yangu. If you want come in advance kuja mapema. Kama uko America na unataka kiti 2027, kama as early as now, toka America rudi Kenya, stay with the people. Kama uko Mombasa na unataka kura kisi 2027, Toka Mombasa kuja kisi stay with the people. Hamuka asubuhi na wauso yale maji wananawa kana wao salimia watu kwa barabara wakipita and they will trust you. Kama uko Mandera 
na unataka kiti siaya toka Mandera enda siaya sit with the people finally we shall see how it goes it's now in the public domain the contest for the kisi gubernatorial race is between governor ngwae and dr fred matiani the duo fought in uh, i want to give just a few examples eh? you saw the race in bonchari it was between ngwae and matiani matiani alikuwa na opore for jubilee and ongwae had a uh, uh, um, make for odm and you know how it went the same happened in kemukama matiani versus ongwae you know how it went so kaka mimi nimekaa hivi na ngoja hivi tamari naelekea i'm just waiting to see eh sasa tena hiyo vita imeonekana tena katika ugavana ni ongwae versus matiani we shall see how it will go uh, tuko na refari mimi nitakuwa kwa offense tu nikiangalia match. Nitakuwa na Tuni TV nikiangalia match. Anakwenda. Ongwae anasonga na mpira. Anapatia fulani. Matiani anakwenda. Ana Mimi mimi nitakuwa tu naangalia mpira vile unachezwa. But at the end of the August election we shall announce the winner. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you. Asante sana for subscribing. Mungu abariki sana. Nyasai abaseseni. Thank you so much.